What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. It's your girl, I know Goddess. How's everyone today? All right, let's get some Palo Santo up in this energy, baby. I love this little bottle. I'll be coming with my Palo Santo sprays for sale soon. Just revamping everything, you guys. But thank you all for your continued love and support for my channel. I really, truly appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this is your first time joining. I welcome you with love, light, and peace. All right? All right. To all of my beautiful soul subscribers. All right. Let's get some general energy here, my collective. Let's get some. So I, as I split the deck, I see somebody's in their uh, creative energy. Somebody's in their creative energy. Okay, this is you feeling creative. You're focused on your growth. I feel like you're surrounding yourself with a group of people that is like minded. Okay, um, I feel like with this fifth house energy, it's like a, a Leo energy. You're feeling confident, you're feeling stable, you're feeling abundant, not only just on a 3D level, but also in the spiritual energy. I feel like you are so. Um, on this mastery and and focusing on your goals and accomplishing everything that you want and you're taking full-on action baby um yeah i feel like you're taking full-on action um yeah like you're just taking full on action. You're feeling stable. You're feeling confident. There's so much abundance and growth around you right now, my collective. Whatever it is you're doing, you're a master at it. Okay. You're a master at what it is you do. Okay? It's just, it just naturally flows for you. All right. It naturally flows to you. Yeah. And you're feeling free. You're feeling confident. You're, you are not being blocked by any lack of inner confidence um, this is like the solar plex chakra. This is like the third eye expansion energy, you know, Jupiter feeling free, feeling creative. You got a free spirit energy going on around you here. And, um, sorry, I gotta organize myself. And as well, this is you feeling like a lot of personal power. Um, it's like, you know, your self-worth, you are self-accepting of who you are. You love yourself. You're confident. You are definitely balanced with your inner peace. Um, yeah, and you are listening to your intuitive energy here, like that third eye energy. You feel me? Yeah. Okay, getting a lot of downloads, getting a lot of messages. Yeah, I feel like what you're working on is freedom. Whatever it is that you are creating, my collective, you want financial freedom. Okay, yeah, you want financial freedom. Your health is in good shape. You're not feeling any type of, you're not having any type of health issues at all. You're free from that, okay? All because you are you're disciplined, okay? Let's see what else is going on here, if you want. Okay. All right, what else is going on here? Give me a couple of cards for so we can keep it pushing. All right, I feel like you have with this reverse energy, you have taken back your power. You definitely have taken back your power, okay? You're no longer in a space where I feel like your heart is content. You're free. Okay, when I see this heart chakra, the green, it's like you're just so content, you're feeling free spirited, you're free from any heartbreak, any trauma, any mental um, trauma, anything that had you uh, had a grip on you, my collective, you are emotionally free from that stuff, you have taken back your power when I see this reverse card here, absolutely have taken back your power, okay, yeah, yeah, see, Crown chakra energy, seven chakra. Okay, I feel like you are you're free. You're free thinking. All right, you are definitely free thinking. Uh, with this chariot en energy, your mind is free. You're launching forward. You're thinking about the future, is what I see here in my collective. You're thinking about what lies ahead. You are planning. You are strategizing, and you're feeling emotionally fulfilled. You're getting a lot of downloads. You're getting a lot of messages. Your higher self is speaking to you right now. Things are in balance for you right now. When you see this fourteen right here, this is this temperance energy. Let's get the yin yang oracle. Let's get the yin yang oracle. Yes, you guys are definitely ascended. You already know seven is a spiritual number. All right, you're getting a lot of messages, downloads. There it go, baby. I can't make it up through your dreams, through affirmations. All right, I feel like you've been through. Yep, you're focused on your growth. There it is. As I split the deck, my collective. All right, yeah, yeah. Um, what else is going on here, my divine spirit guys? What else is going on here? 
Yeah, I feel like you've found balance in your life. You let go of all the karmic cycles. Things are balanced in your life. You see the truth thing. You see the truth of the matter now. It's like with the justice card, that's that Libra energy. You found balance. You've healed yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys have taken responsibility for the things that occurred in your life, which you allowed. And so with that, you realize that you are responsible for your happiness, my collective. And so with that, you're taking, like I said, you've taken back your power. You set healthy boundaries. Okay. Yeah. You know yourself well. Worth. There it go. And you have you expect nothing less of yourself or um you and you expect and you only expect people to treat you the way you want to be treated. All right. And there go to freedom. There go to freedom, my collective. There it goes. You free. You're taking leaps out here. New opportunities are coming for you. And that's the truth. You are free. I feel like with this truth card, this is like a queen of swords, king of swords energy. You know what I'm saying? It's like that fifth chakra. It, it represents you um communication speaking your truth it's like that willpower standing up for yourself um letting people know how you feel and how you want to be treated and that's just that all right it says divine detour here um i feel like there has been a lot of um detours in your life because god wanted you on a certain particular path that was for you so he's going to uproot you make you feel uncomfortable even though you feel like you're in a place where you go you are comfortable spirit always puts that Divine intervention always intervenes because it's not for you, okay? Um, you only there for a moment at a time in your life, and every level, it's a lesson. And in those lessons, you learn, you grow, you ascend, okay? Yeah, you are there planting seeds. Those moments that you was there, you were only planting seeds for the future, okay? That's what you were doing. You were planting seeds for the future, my collective, all right? And now it's all going to pay off. Now it's all going to pay off. OK, you're focused on your growth. Like I said, you're uh, you're not afraid to express yourself. You speak your truth. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys held a lot of things in uh, because you were afraid of what people would think of you. You were afraid of being judged or, you know, um, you didn't want to hurt people's feelings. But you got to do what's best for you, my collective. You got to do what's best for you. OK, um, with the karmic energy here, with karma, balance and faith. I feel like a lot of things that was delayed in your life, God has restored it because, like I said, there was lessons. With every level, there's a new devil. And so every seed that you planted, it wasn't a waste of time, but it was preparing you for what was to come. All right. That's what it was preparing for you. And there go that strength card. Like I said, you feeling absolutely empowered. OK, I feel like that confidence is through the roof. You feel me? You're believing more in your spirit, guys, and your intuitive energy. And in this present moment, this is where you're sitting. You're sitting in this present moment full of gratitude and full with abundance. You see what I'm saying? So I like this, my collective. Yes, you have definitely ascended. You're in your life's purpose. You tapped into your north node and letting go of these karmic cycles, past life karmic energy. Okay, you're, you're releasing the past life baggages of bl bloodline energy curses, breaking those old cycles, things that you did not complete in your last lifetime. You have completed and accomplished it in this lifetime. So that's why you're right here in your purpose, my collective. Okay, I like this. I like this. Let's get the royal tarot because that's what you are, my collective. You are royalty. You are definitely in this magician energy. You know your power i feel like you're the magician you you got the gift of gab i feel like you guys can know what when you speak the truth i feel like you have this way of you have the power of persuasion my collective so if you're supposed to be out here on a platform talking to people i did a reading when i said you guys need to talk about your your journey talk about your stories share your story with the world because it will help to heal others you know what i'm saying give your messages OK, seven is messages, but you got that power. And here it is. You're standing in your power. You're absolutely in this manifestation mode. And whatever it is that you are manifesting, it is bringing forth that abundance because now you are aligned to your life's purpose with the North Node. And here go the Sun card. You have awakened. OK, you have definitely awakened. All right, my collective. Yes, you've taken that leap of faith. There go the full card again. It's here three times. The freedom card right here. Three times it is here. The full card is here. Remember when I said the Queen of Swords, King of Swords energy as well? There it is. You freed yourself. I feel like you guys released everything and anything that was holding you, was holding up in your heart. Anyone or anything that made you feel guilty, any heartbreak, anyone that's done anything wrong to you. You're no longer sheltering these people or sheltering how you feel and trying to make people feel comfortable. Queen of Swords energy. You're intelligent. Nobody's going to make you feel less. No one's going to make you feel like you're not worthy. You feel what I'm saying? Because like I said, with this reverse energy, you have taken back your power and you have found inner peace okay so i like that my collective i love that you know what i'm saying yeah ace of swords spirit says you see things from a higher perspective and you got that mental clarity there it is baby crown chakra clarity truth 
You see what I'm saying? So you got that. Queen of Swords energy. You ain't holding back for nobody anymore. You'll speak your truth. And if anybody don't like it, oh, well, too bad, so sad. It is what it is. You're putting your foot down, my collective. I love that. All right. Yes. Whatever you are working on, you are securing the bag Four of Pentacles. I feel like it was slow and steady growth, but there you go. Now, baby, you're unstoppable. Absolutely unstoppable. You are getting a lot of downloads and messages to my collective. There go the moon card energy. Your intuitive is popping, baby. Your intuition is popping. All right. Very much so. I feel like you guys are coming into soul tribe connections. When I see this two of cups energy, you're coming into um, groups of people who are like minded soul tribe connections with this two of cups energy. OK, yes, yes, because you have gone through this death, this rebirth and this transformation. All right. You have gone through this death and this rebirth and this transformation and healed yourself. All right. You've been through the ring of nine of wands, but you held it down. You were resilient. You knew it was time to let go. You knew it was time to let go and start to heal. Um, you knew all this time when you're faith was being tested you held steadfast you held steadfast with this nine of wands you feel me my collective but there you go spirit says you are powerful you got the strength that's why you was put in those positions because god chose his strongest soldiers and you are one of the strongest ones they're going to strength card is here twice my collective the strength card is here twice you are very empowering and share your story again my collective you are very empowering okay you're a natural born leader baby because that's what you do you are a natural born leader and i feel like you stop holding yourself back it of pentacles baby you are too busy manifesting anything that you want because you got the skills you're abundant and with this eight of pentacles you repeated these cycles until you mastered your skills and with this right here this is why you're aligning with your purpose okay ten of pentacles is going to bring forth a great deal of abundance and building generational wealth all right yeah so you're breaking all the generational curses over your finance in your life over the heartbreaks over your life any addictions anything that was passed down to you but you're not doing that anymore yes because you made that final judgment and it was all due to your faith and your belief all right you learned a lot about yourself and your spirituality as well my collective okay so with this judgment some of y'all let go of religion and decide to tap into spirituality tap into the occult okay yes seven of cups honey all your wishes are coming true all your wishes are coming true all right i'm hearing dream lover come rescue me take me home take me down take me anywhere you want to baby now all right dream lover you have so many options and so many opportunities your way here in my collective all your wishes all your dreams are coming true all right yeah you are getting so many offers all right they're going to knight of cups and a lot of offers are coming in here but i feel like with this knight energy you're not accepting any low vibration and you don't want no petty offers anymore this is what you were dealing with before and tired of being an option to other people now you got the options now you could you got you could say yes yes no or maybe so okay yeah that's what i feel like now because when i see the judgment here you're like no i'm that real divine feminine i know who i am my intuition is on point i've reached to my spiritual heights and i continue to grow when i see this high priestess energy yeah because you've been through the burdens my collective you let it go with that 10 you let go of the burden so like i said you're not going to settle for this knight of cups seven of cups energy i'm not one of your option i am the option you feel me i'm the only option and that's how you see it my collective so you continue to focus on your growth focus on your expansion some of y'all are very intuitive some of y'all got the foresight and i feel like when you start to speak the truth here my collective because some of y'all was shadowing hiding your gift a lot of y'all would get messages and hold back on those on those messages that you want to give people because a lot of y'all was afraid of being judged like i said earlier remember when i said you got the foresight here when i said a lot of y'all will hold back on being judged but now you speak your truth and a lot of people don't like that because it's like you were speaking things into life over people's life but this is your fate this is your destiny some of y'all are supposed to be tarot card readers here, all right? Or you just got that gift of gab. Some of y'all are tapping into this magical energy right here. When I see this right here with the tower, um, when I see the um, judgment and the magician and the high priestess here, some of y'all have brought a transformation, a death to your beliefs of how you were raised. You see this right here, higher front death card? Yeah, some of y'all let go of this. All right, because y'all had to free yourselves. Some of y'all could have been raised in a family where everybody is very religious and there's nothing wrong with that. There's no judgment there, but it's just not for you. So a lot of these people would judge you based on your spiritual gift. Some of them will say you are a witch or you're a warlock and you believe in the devil and you you know, you do dark magic and blah, blah, blah. But your beliefs and their beliefs, they have no right to judge you. OK, and it be the ones that say that they're most holiest than thou that be the ones judging you. You feel me? But you shed these old beliefs. OK, you learned a lot about yourself and your gift. All right. And you at this point, you don't give a damn who wants to judge you. 
You make your own decisions now because you're, you're your own boss. You feel me? Yeah, you've ascended. You're in your life's purpose. And your purpose is has a calling over your life where you speak the truth. All right? So I feel like some of y'all need to tap into this tarot uh, reading. If you're not a tarot card reader, you just have a very powerful intuition. And sometimes when you speak things over people's lives, they're afraid to hear your mouth. They don't want to hear your mouth. Yeah, there go with the devil card. But see, since you were a child, you learned this. Page of Pentacles energy. You've learned this. Okay, you've learned that you um, that you've always uh, I feel like when I see this page of Pentacles energy and the Hierophant, I feel like, you know, you grew up in church and you're supposed to give your tithes and your offering. And, you know, you go to Sunday school every week or Bible study every week. And some of y'all was in church seven days a week. Gosh, dang it. You see what I'm saying? Your whole weekend was taken away. But with that page of Pentacles, you've learned a lot of things. It's like going back to this child-like self and knowing. It's like I feel like you reflected back on your childhood, your childlike self, knowing that you've always had this gift. Because when I see that pentacle, I see it as a gift. But it was only one. But I feel like you've shattered yourself because people were saying that you were worshiping the devil. You're doing dark magic. You're a witch. You're a warlock. Things of that nature. So for a very long time with the Hierophant energy, you isolated yourself you isolated your truth and even when you got these messages and these downloads you didn't give it to anybody because you was afraid of being judged but you don't care anymore because why you are the emperor empress take it how it recognize how it resonates my collective male or female this is who you are and this is why you're here now because you freed yourself you allowed just you shed the old skin okay you are no longer that person that everybody else in society when i see this higher fin energy that society wanted you to be you are not cut from the same cloth from everybody else so yes yeah, so what if they want to judge you but so what some of y'all here y'all got y'all own channels some of y'all need to some of y'all do tarot card readers some of y'all do crystal reading some of y'all do reiki yeah turn it off it burnt. turn it off turn it off it, no it's not burnt i was trying to boil the burn stuff out of it so what you do when things are when your pot has burnt food, you put some water in a little and boil it and it loosens it up. So just turn it off. I'll do it again. All right, my collective. So since you freed yourself, you have definitely found your first life's purpose. You're free. You're free to express yourself. And since you being in your life's purpose, it's bringing so many new opportunities. Yes. Yeah, so what if they want to say you're a magician? So what if they want to say you worship the devil? So what if they want to judge you? So what? So what? Yeah, because this is what they do. With the higher fit and the judgment here, these are the most judgmental people. People who hold that title of religion. And that's the truth. And it ain't no shade, but it is what it is. But this is what's bringing in so much abundance for you. Okay? Some of y'all are working on them skills and you're mastering these skills. All right? It is what it is. But for a long time, you were isolating yourself. But spirit was always protecting you. Seven of Wands, baby. You're always protected no matter where you go. No matter the trials, the tribulations. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you've gone through, you've always been protected. Why, baby? Because you've got your purpose in life. You are the star and you are aligned to your life's purpose. You've done a lot of healing and this is just who you are. Plain and simple, my collective. So that's what I says. You are the royal tarot, baby. You know what I'm saying? There's been a lot of chaos and upheaval, a lot of conflict, a lot of jealousy. And people are going to be jealous of you of this, okay? People are really going to be jealous of this because why? They're going to try to tear you down. They're going to try to tear you down because they don't like the way that, that you arose above this conflict. And things just suddenly try to start to change in your life. And I feel like you pulling your energy away from these people, my collective. This is what they're dealing with. Conflict and chaos in their life. But this is what they wanted for you. But at the same time, they hate what you do, but they're in competition with what you do. Really? Go have several seats. Okay? And Spirit says that's the truth. And because you are in your life's purpose, this is where you at, my collective. OK, so that journey of the trials and the tribulations that you that you've been through has brought you where you're at. You planted a lot of seeds along the way. And now that you can see things from a higher perspective, you got the clarity and the mental clarity that you need. Nobody can stop you. You are who you are. And I feel like right here with this inner guidance, you continue to take that inner guidance. All right, my collective male or female. Male or female. So I do feel like because I see the two of cups here as well, my collective, you are going to be aligned with the person who is meant for you as well. Because a lot of y'all remember what I was saying, the Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, taking these petty ass apologies and trying to have somebody having you as an option. No, I am not the I'm not one of your many options. I am the only option. So you guys will be coming into a relationship right here. Uh that is a divine connection as well. Okay. Divine masculine, divine feminine. All right. So I like that. I love that. My collective, this is yeah. King of cups, 
made a lot of emotional, um, a, a lot of mature decisions. But with this King of Cups, some of you divine feminines is coming in with this King of Cups energy. Somebody's coming in to express their love and be able to give you some, uh, I feel like with the King of Cups here, Emperor, Empress energy here, Two of Cups here, I do feel like both, both of you guys are emotionally mature and is looking for a soul connection here. All right. So Spirit is giving you, because uh, the Fool card is here many times. Okay. The Fool card is here plenty of times. All right. So you guys will be building a successful relationship together. This is your divine counterpart. Definitely going to be building a successful relationship together. And I love that. I love that. I love that. All right, my collective. That's what I have for you guys. Nine of cups. There it is. That's that gratitude. That's that gratitude. Feeling content within your own on your own. Feeling gratitude, self-sufficient, you know what I'm saying? Self-love, self-healing. This is where you're at with this Nine of Cups and both this Emperor and this Empress. So this is in there. Go to Queen of Cups. I can't make it up. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Emperor, Empress. Okay. All right. Now you both are loving, nurturing. All right. For some of y'all for who can still co-create, you will be coming into a, a meeting with this person and bringing forth a star seed baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, uh, you both are going to be a super powerful couple. Both of you could have Leo in your North Node or Leo in your chart. Yeah, but you guys are coming in strong, strong power couple here when I see this and the Six of Wands. All right. All right, my collective. I wish you guys love and light. And Spirit says that's the truth. Justice is finally going to be served in your life, overall in your life. Okay. Everything that was unjustified, everything that you've been through, you are deserving of it. All of this that you've been through with this Three of Cups energy. All right. Feeling left out in the cold, the heartbreak, the regrets, the darkness, the sadness. Sadness. Spirit says it's all back and you are all being restored. OK, it is all being restored and you're beginning a brand new beginning on life when it comes to the finances, love, everything that was unjustified in your life is about to be justified. OK, there it go. And that's the truth. All right, my collective. I love this. I absolutely love that. Yeah, some of y'all going to have a new baby. Somebody going to be here procreating here. And this is destiny. This is faded because people can only slow you down. People can only stop, slow you down, but they can't stop what's destined. The only way you do not receive what God has for you is when you give up on yourself and you guys did not give up on yourself. So they're going to wheel of fortune. This union that's coming in with this emperor empress energy is what's destined. This is a divine union. All right. Between you and this person, they're going to ace the cups. I can't make it up. These are all major arcanas. Look at this. This is beautiful. So your person have been through this too. All right, divine masculine, divine feminine, you guys are coming in union with your divine counterpart here. This is beautiful, my collective. Look at all these major arcanas. Wow. Look at this strength card on both ends. Look at this. Look at this. And this is destiny. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is absolutely a beautiful reading, my collective. And all because you just decide to align yourself with your life's purpose, heal, forgive, and let go of the things that no longer serve you. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Wounded warrior. But you decide to pull through. All right? You said it's all good. I got this. I got this. Because I see a light at the end of the tunnel. So that's what I see for you guys. This is what's coming in the near future. I feel like this is going to catch you guys off guard, three of wands, when you're focused on your growth and your expansion and you're waiting for your own ships to come in. But also, you guys are very intuitive. You got the foresight. All right? This King of Cups is very intuitive too. So you guys ain't going to really say much to each other. It's like you're going to finish each other's sentences. You guys are going to be very compassionate and very nurturing onto each other because this is the energy that you was putting out to other people and all they was giving you was this. OK, a lot of heartbreaks and disappointments. And so with that being said, you guys are going to receive this. They're going to the major arcana of the sun card because you both are deserving of it. Right. But you've learned to protect your energy with the seven of wands and decide to go within, harness your energy, focus on your skills, put in the work. And that work is paying off. Nine of cups, you're content on your own. You don't mind being on your own. You're, you love yourself. You're present. You're abundant, focused on the opportunities and the options that's out there for you and taking that leap of faith, calculating risks okay no more dealing with these toxic ass energies that want to keep themselves bound to you or judge you or judge you for who you are and all that bullshit no more of the burdens it's over ten of wands letting it go releasing it okay yeah and you guys are absolutely protected 
Okay? So with the Seven of Wands. All right? All right, my soul subscribers. I wish you guys love, light, and peace. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. I wish, I hope this reading reached someone. And you guys share this with someone who you think might need to hear it. And go ahead and check out my previous videos and share those with others. I would really appreciate it. Get me out there and pushing me on this algorithm, y'all. All right? It's your girl, Unknown Goddess.